So we've just returned from a trip to the Basque Country in northern Spain. Uh, we were out for a visit to our air rifle suppliers for the last 20 years, Cometa in Iber, in, uh, near, near Bilbao in northern Spain. What emerged from the visit, one of the most interesting processes with the air rifles is how they actually manufacture the barrels. So whether you go for a traditional brake barrel air rifle, something like this, or whether you go for a, mod a modern high-powered PCP state-of-the-art air rifle, something like this, all the barrels are essentially made through the same process, the same machinery, and the same equipment. So we've put together a little video of how these barrels are actually made and anyone we've shown it to so far has found it really, really interesting. Whether you're interested in air rifles or bigger caliber rifles, this is frequently the system of how a barrel is actually manufactured from scratch. The first step in the manufacture of the barrels is, you see it in this image here, the steel bars come in in their raw form into the factory. Um, they're made from carbon steel with a small amount of lead mixed in to make them supple. And they're made specially to Cometa's own specifications. Um, and you can see the big, big, huge bales of steel rods that come in. Okay, so the second step, I suppose, and we've abbreviated it as much as possible, is the steel bars are brought in to be cut. So depending on the barrel length of each individual model, the barrels are cut um, on a special uh, machine, which you can see here, and water is used to lubricate the, the, the cutting blades. So if you're buying a super compact um, brake barrel or super compact like a bull pup, your barrels are cut shorter. And again, it could be a long range, long distance target rifle, the barrels are being cut longer. So the next step in the process is we've cut our barrels now to the required lengths. So the next big machine we meet here is for drilling the barrels. Now, having spoken to people about this, everyone seems to think this is where the rifling occurs, but it's not. When we drill the barrels here in this machine, you see four barrels go at one time. There's a tungsten uh, drill bit in each head to drill each one of the four bars, and it's lubricated with oil. The oil is recycled and the steel file filings that come out, they get, they get sucked aside and they're recycled. But this isn't where the actual rifling takes place. When the barrels come out from this process, they're smooth bore, just like an old fashioned musket. And the barrels are also still quite thick. And uh, when we saw it happening, we were wondering how are the barrels so thick like a bull barrel? But we'll find out in the next step exactly how to become narrower. So we've just drilled out our, our four barrels at a time and we've taken one. You can see the bore down the center of the barrel. The heavy diameter on the barrels, even after being drilled, they're still quite uh, quite chunky looking, like, like as I said, like a bull barrel. So how our barrels really um, become um, rifled is in a special rifling machine, which was originally made in Germany. So the process is called cold hammering. And here uh, the technician in the factory running who operates the machine, he's, he actually shows us the hammers. They're essentially just big hammers inside a machine and they operate at huge pressure. And um, we're gonna show you then how they actually rifle the barrel in a minute. So in this image here, in this little very quick video, we show you that the very point on the bar in the, on the, the rod in the machine, the very narrow little point you see in the front, that is the rifle die. And that is the template of the rifling that you get inside your barrel. And that die that you see on the very front, that's going to go up inside the hollow tube that we, we saw being drilled and cut earlier on. So the next piece here is where we actually put a barrel on top of the die and we insert the die and the barrel into the cold hammering machine. And the barrel and the die come under immense pressure from the cold hammers where they're beaten. And what essentially happens is the barrel is beaten down onto the die on the inside and we leave an imprint of the rifling on the inside of the barrel. So just 
in the next se- in the next step, we see the barrels coming out the uh, the other end of the machine. They've now been cold hammered, uh, beaten basically under very high pressure, and have now been rifled. Um, you see the barrels popping out here and just being picked up by by the engineer. So now the barrels have come out, and you remember earlier on we said how do they. Why were they so thick earlier on and how do they come out so slim when they're actually built into the rifle and this is it here they've been beaten so badly if we like they've become thinner and you see here when we compare one that one before and after the hammering process it's actually after getting about four inches longer due to the beating of the hammers and the pressure so the next unexpected um, outcome of the cold hammering process is that the barrels have actually become magnetized and obviously if they were heavily magnetized your pellets would stick and wouldn't fire properly so here we go and they're being demagnetized to remove the mag- ma- magnetism from the barrels they're magnetic now from being inside the forge and now he's taking the magnetic field over So perhaps one of the most interesting things very near the end now is that the barrels having been cold hammered and having been demagnetized and even earlier on drilled, there may be imperfections, they may not be quite straight. So the next process is every single barrel, again whether it's a spring air rifle or a high power PCP and in all calibers has to go through the next process where the barrel is straightened. It's a very, very um, technical uh, process and you really have to have a lot of experience to do it. Um, at this point, you could have it 90% accurate, make one little small touch with the machine and you put the, you put the uh, accuracy completely off again. So it's a very skilled job at the very end here that he's doing with the, with the little uh, pressure gauge. Okay, so um, after all of that, this is the final outcome. This is our barrel and um, rifled on the inside. So if you've enjoyed the video, if you'd like to find out about um, more about Cometa, they're manufacturing air rifles since before 1900. Um, they're a very long established uh, Spanish air rifle manufacturer. So if you'd like to find out more or you're interested in their, in their air rifles, um, you can go on openseason.ie and you'll find various makes and models there. And uh, if you're really interested, you can give us a call in Nina on 067 31774. And uh, if you need any help or advice, we'll do our best to assist you.